Now, we had some tension with the show yesterday, certainly with Todd and myself, and a little bit with uh, Paulie and myself at the end of the show. Just a little bit. Paulie made a mistake, and then I called him out. Yeah, and that's not, that wasn't overwhelming. It was a one moment. It wasn't, uh, it didn't blast before or after. Yeah. Well, with Todd, it was a little bit different. Yes, he would. That, like, quote unquote moment that you had with Paul yeah. happens to the rest of us like 30 times. It's not even a thing. Yeah. Happens to Todd 30 times a day. Easily. Yeah. Thank Easily. You. Yes. Thank you, Todd. All right. Let's uh, go around the room. You guys vote since there's three of you. Fritzy doesn't get to vote, and I won't. And, uh, We'll have a winner here, or a loser here. Who was responsible for the tension in yesterday's show? Seton? So that what we're talking about is Todd sent too many emails about one subject, and yeah. you got annoyed by it? The bracket challenge. It's, it's not just yesterday. It was a buildup to yesterday over and the last week. You lashed out at Todd yes. about how annoying he is. Well, I don't know if I lashed out, but I corrected him. You know what, Paul? Before you vote, Seton, Todd also uh, was... Uh, Corrected or yelled at because he didn't do research on something. What was that, Todd? Oh, John, John Morant, Morant take. John Morant take. Right. So those are the two that highlights. Back to you. Yeah. And he reached out to all these actresses who have no idea who we are, what we are, but it was for Fritzy's gratification, in my opinion. Gross. Which we haven't really defined what that gratification would really. Well, be. that you got a chance to say, "Hey, I uh, reached out to Margo Robbie." And what, what, and what do I gain out of that? I'm did, not talking you, to any of them personally. Did you reach out to Jerry Ferrara, who was Turtle? My point is, you made it sound like I got off the phone with Jennifer Connelly. We're having lunch you, tomorrow. Did you reach out to Turtle for months? I did not. I okay. don't think we've invited and, him in and years. Been, okay. Yeah, because you you haven't invited him in years. All right, Seaton one. Well, I was going to say. Uh, I was going to say. I was say. <laughs> um, I th we're 16 years into this version of the show, and then we go back how many years at ESPN? A few. I mean, we've all worked together for just about almost 20, 20 years. years. I, for me, it's been 20 years. Oof. For these guys, it's probably been longer. I'm going to say Feels yesterday longer. was your fault. Okay. Todd sending too many emails about one subject is nothing new. And if it hasn't been corrected in the first 16 years <laughs> of it, you're not going to correct it. Now it's just something that you have to deal with. So okay. it's like you can, you can only re control your reaction to the the problem, mm -hmm. just like Todd, it's his fault that he's too sensitive or that he reacts poorly to you being rude. Okay. Those kinds of things. I, I put it on you. Marvin? I'm going to put it on you also. You know what Fritzy is and who he is. That was it. But I can't get frustrated with who he is and what he is? You were a little sassy yesterday. Mm -hmm. <laughs> sassy. Well, let me go to Paul. I can always tr trust Paulie's opinion on this. Paul, What's that? What's that mean? You've been there. You've had my back for years. Yeah. Good days, bad days. Yeah. Good years, bad years. Yep. Yeah, it was you, Dan. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, let me break this down quickly because I know where everybody gets to break. There are some days when you come in and I didn't notice you being in a bad mood. You were treating me extra nice because I was under the weather the day before, so I might not have noticed it. But there are some days when you come in, Dan, and you're kind of, you're ready to strike. And we've actually have meetings about this. Or a little like, hey guys, I'll look around and I'm like tighten up your stuff because Dan may be in a, one of those moods. And it happens, let's say once or twice a year. Okay. And yesterday may have been one of those. Todd gave you the opening with the hundreds of emails about the bracket and the lack of male inclusion, and you use that as a jumping off point, the John Morant jumping off point. So Todd opened the door, you slammed the door. Okay. So yeah, it was your mood yesterday. And then what happened naturally happens. Okay. But then at the end of the day, you seem fine. Yeah. Then I, I ate uh, Seton's lunch. I didn't realize I that was, was more of an uh, an honest mistake. It was an honest mistake. When Todd did it, it was not. No, no. But when I did it, it was I. I didn't realize it was your lunch, and I'm just cooking it up. And you're there. We're talking. I go, hey, can you get me some olive oil? And you're like, oh yeah, here it is. And I'm cooking it. And then I, and Seton goes, uh, you know, that was. My, my, my lunch. And I go, all right. So, uh, is this like the last day before Christmas vacation or something? No, no, no. <laughs> three nothing. So I lost three nothing. Todd, you feel better? No, I'm glad the guys have my back in this particular instance. I just, I thought that was a little over the top. There was, there's a, you know, you could have, we could have waited to a commercial break and said, you know, easy in the middle of the show. It's, I don't need 17 emails from you. We've had those, you know, conversations too before or after a show or in a commercial, but it, I guess it hurt extra because 
during the live show. You're, it, like, you're it annoying. Just, it was just a yes or no, Con. <laughs> I'm just explaining why I felt extra sensitive because it's a conversation. I know, that but I, it, it was just you feel better, Todd. I feel better than I did yesterday. You could have said yes. I'm glad the guys had a realistic, accurate. We have time to correct that. Todd, you feel better? Yeah, I'm not gonna have a parade. Todd, just right? say yes. <laughs> I feel a little better. I'm glad the guy saw you're wrong about what happened yesterday. Now I'm being annoying again because you've got to go to break in five seconds.